But first, to the breaking news in Pinnell County, where four people are dead after a hot air balloon accident in Eloy. News for Tucson's Jafet Serrato joins us live now from the scene. Jafet, you've been there all day. What is the latest tonight? Eric, I'm standing near an empty desert field on the intersection of East Hanna Road and Sunshine Boulevard on the northern edge of Eloy. The accident happened earlier today, but tonight the NTSB is here as the, under, as the investigation is underway. A hot air balloon crash in Eloy Sunday morning leaves four dead and one fighting for their life. You can see the aerial view of the crash. Authorities say it happened around 7.30 in the morning. The investigation revealed that earlier in the morning the aircraft had lifted off with approximately eight skydivers and five people in the balloon itself that were not going to, to, to uh, skydive. Eloy Police Chief Byron Golney says the eight skydivers jumped from the balloon to safety. Shortly thereafter, something catastrophic occurred uh, with the balloon causing it to crash to the ground. A spokesperson with the NTSB tells News for Tucson that the aircraft was a Cameron Balloons A160. One person died on the scene, three others died at the hospital, and one is in a Phoenix hospital Sunday night in critical condition. It is devastating news for nearby residents. It's terrible, and any time there's a loss of life, it's, it's just not... Not good. I've been the mayor for the past four years, since 2020. I've been on the city council since 2012. We've had incidents like this in the past, uh, but not this to this magnitude. The rural community of Eloy makes for prime skydiving. The mayor tells me the skydiving community is heartbroken to hear about the accident. They're all very close knit. So this really hits home to us. And one of my council members is a skydiver. Police do not know how long the balloon was flying before it crashed. The NTSB and FAA will now lead the investigation. Residents say they will keep the victims' families in their thoughts. Everybody needs to say a prayer or take a moment of silence. Police have not released the names of the people killed, but we do know that they were all adults. Stay with News for Tucson for continuing coverage of this story. We'll have the latest tomorrow morning on Tucson Today. In Eloy, Chafet Serrato, News 4, Tucson.